Hey guys, welcome to another lunchroom review. So I'm going to be trying Wendy's. They have a new um, Sawson burger. Oh, it's not a burger, it's a chicken sandwich. So I'm going to try that and I think they have a new dessert I'm also going to try. So, um, thank you try. So anyway, I'm going to get through drive through and uh, I'll carry you with me. I mean, I can have the number 11 medium uh, with fries and a Diet Coke. Number 11 medium with the Coke, Yeah, a Diet Coke. Diet Coke, anything yeah. else for you? Yeah, can I have one of your frosty cookie sundaes? They would have been That's it, thank you. Can I read that for you? 9.32, just in case you didn't hear it. And uh, number 11 is the Sawson Bacon Chicken Sandwich. Um, comes with um, the uh, chicken, like a lightly breaded chicken patty, bacon, uh, the Sawson sauce, and uh, which I had on a burger before, but I haven't, they just came out with the chicken one. And then uh, I got the fries and the Coke. And then they also have um, the Frosty Sunday, Frosty Cookie Sunday, and I've got a piece of paper written down here below it. It is um, the Frosty, which is a vanilla Frosty, um, it is chocolate uh, chunk cookie, which is like a big chocolate chip cookie um, chunked up in the squares, and Ghirardelli chocolate sauce on top of it. So it sounded really good when I saw it on the website. It's like, eh, I'm going to try that out. So, um, so I ordered one of those. Normally I wouldn't order a sweet, but I wanted, I wanted to try it out for you more than anything and just to see what it tastes like for me. Less than $10 for that? I don't think that's bad. And I got a medium because of the medium fry and a medium coke so that'll last me the rest of the day that medium coke will the rest of the day while i'm at work not not once i get home hello how you doing doing just fine good morning 11 42 a home style medium with a diet and a vanilla sundae yeah the the sawsome chicken is that yes yeah yes yes have a wonderful day will they give me a receipt yes sir oh, thank nice you I can make sure I get that receipt. Hello. How you doing? Good, how are you, sir? And give me just a second on that Sunday. We're making it now. Okay, thank you. There you go, sir. Have thank nice you. Day. You too. I think I want to pull here after all. Go find me a place to park. Hmm. Buddy, come on, buddy, in the car, in the truck. No, I'll park over here. Kind of where firehouse is I always, it seems like I always park over here in their parking lot because it's kind of uh, it's kind of away from everything I pull over here unless they had more shade over here but they don't I'm gonna pull kind of weird yeah this is good yeah I'm in a parking place uh, find a place to sit the Sunday where it won't melt that looks good okay so I'm going to uh, be right back and I'll show you the food and everything and then I'll be right back. I'll get everything ready and be back. Okay, so here's the fries. This, this is the medium, medium fries. Uh, this is the chicken sandwich. You can see it has two slices of bacon, um, cheese, lettuce, sauce some sauce, and, um, and a tomato and a bun. It looks like a, a good bun too, almost like a pretzel bun. And there's the, um, the sundae, the frosty cookie sundae. Which looks really good. It's got some big hunks of cookie in there and all that Ghirardelli sauce on there. So I'm going to turn the camera around and um, I'll tell you about the price and everything once I get you turned around. Okay, so the total um, was actually, the total with tax and everything, well, before tax was $10.77, 65 cents of tax, and the total was actually $11.42 um, total. She said nine something. I think that was without the... Uh, the cookie sundae then she added that on and it, and it bumped it up because the cookie sundae is a dollar 99 by itself now the meal was 878 so if you get a medium um sausage chicken with fries and a medium diet coke it's 878 and then the cookie sundae is a dollar 99 so so yeah yeah 
so not too awfully bad. I'm going to try to put this Sunday over here to where it's not sitting right here in front of me and it's not going to fall and melt. You going to stay there? Okay. okay. So I'm going to try just some of the fries first. I always try the fries first because I like them good and fresh. Um, give me the opinion of them when they're straight out of the, the container. That's some good fries. They, um, let me show you. They, they're um, the cut fries, so you get the peeling on them. And they always, as far as any of them I've ever had them, they always put a good amount of salt on them. So the salt content's really good. And they're a good size. They're, um, they're bigger than like a McDonald's fry, because McDonald's fries to me are too small. Um, they're good, but they're small. These are a little bit bigger, so you get a little bit more of that potato flavor, but they're not quite as big as like a Culver's or something like that, where you really get potato. Um, these are a good medium um, size fry, and you get that just a really good potato flavor, good like a home style potato. Mm. Their fries are good. Okay. No complaint from me about their fries, that's for sure. Okay, what's the best way to attack this burger? Let me slide this lettuce over a bit. Slide this bun over. Mm, the sauce is good. It has a almost a smoky flavor. I'm trying to find the bit. Okay, here it looks like a good good place to attack right here. what it kind of looks like from the side and um, that chicken has a good crisp uh, coating on it plus you get the crunch of the bacon and the um, um, the less of course you get a little crispness there too but you get the really good uh, the sauce on the sauce is almost like a smoky almost like a smoky thousand island almost um, kind of how it kind of reminds me of that flavor a little bit hmm. looks good A little messy, but it's good. At least it's not dripping everywhere like uh, like um, some of the other burgers I've had, where it was just literally dripping everywhere. This one's pretty stable. I love the chicken. The chicken's really good. I, I don't know. I probably had their chicken before, but it's been a very very long time, so I don't really remember it. It's a good chicken. It's good and crispy. Um, I mean, that's a good coating on there. Yeah, it's good and crunchy. It has a really good flavor too. It's not just. Uh, like a flowery flavor it's got a, a good salt and peppery kind of flavor too all right so now i'm gonna try the sunday so the burger is really good i'm gonna probably rate these separately uh, as far as the burger goes and the sunday goes the bad thing is the sunday is it is ice cream i mean i am an ice cream fanatic so unless it's just horrible i can't imagine it rating it badly but you never know i go into it with an open mind so let's dig in they give you a spoon and some extra napkins I'm gonna get this bite right here. It's got plenty of sauce. Got a big cookie hunk in there. The cookies are crispy cookies, like they've literally taken. I actually think they've taken one of their chocolate chip cookies and like chopped it up and then put it in here. It's really good. Try a bite without a cookie. Because you're only going to have so many cookies. There's only so many pieces of cookie you can have in this. So without the cookie, the frosty ice cream, the vanilla is really good. And so is the sauce. The bad thing is I don't think they gave you, um, I don't think they gave you a ton of the Ghirardelli sauce, chocolate sauce. So it's not going to be all through here. But it will, it will be in there enough to give you a little bit of that chocolate flavor, um, you know, each bite. I think that's really, really good. Um, Frosties and all soft serves, for that matter, for me, 
they make my head like almost immediately wow you know like the brain freeze um, headache if you hold your tongue on your roof of your mouth it goes away a little faster Whew. the eyeballs hurt so that's one to eat slow if you get um, ice cream headaches really bad which I do uh, sometimes so eat that one slow because it's super cold all right so my rating for the burger the burger and the fries the together the fries are really really good I always recommend Wendy's fries get them anytime um, their fries are excellent the uh, the chicken sandwich itself is is very very good um, it's it's got a good flavor to it it's got a good texture to it the sauce some sauce I wish there was a little bit more on there even though it's dripping off either I wish the full well, now I don't wish there was more but I wish the flavors were maybe just a little bit stronger but then again you don't want it too strong either so I'm gonna I'm gonna back out on that and say no I think that's probably a good amount of this for me I wish they I guess you could ask for a little bit on the side and add some on your own probably but uh so if this wasn't enough you could add all oh, you always add your own so I think this chicken sandwich with the fries the sauce some chicken bacon chicken and the fries is gonna get a four and a half it's not a five chicken sandwich but it's definitely a really good solid four and a half the Sunday is good like I said I wish the cookies the cookies are good they're they're they're, they're really good flavor and everything they're just they're kind of big hunks so you're gonna run out of them pretty quickly uh, kind of like if you get peanuts on the top of a Sunday you run out um, and the chocolate sauce I wish they put just a little bit more but that being said the flavors are really good uh, frosties are really good anyway the ice cream so that ice cream I'm not gonna give it bad it's it's a it's a solid five um, it's ice cream can't hardly screw up ice cream you could but this one's pretty basic so I recommend this both if you got kids and you and, or if you just for yourself want a good um, sweet snack the frosty sundae would be really really good and if you want a good um, not overly spicy not like burn your mouth spicy burger it's not it's not that kind of spice at all um, if you want that kind it's more of a smoky like I said flavor um, if you want that on your chicken sandwich I would definitely give this one a try too so I hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching I want to give you a quick follow-up on the meal after you eat it you know you you, uh, you realize things that you didn't know when you first took a couple bites so I like to follow up if I if I have those um, one the Sunday actually ended up having a bite of cookie in almost the entire thing so there was a lot more either it was a lot less ice cream than I thought there was or there was more cookies than I thought anyway it stretched farther than I thought so so that was good I think there was maybe two two or three bites of ice cream that didn't have cookie with it so that's that's pretty good and I had to take it kind of slow because it does give you a headache really bad um, second thing is the about the Sunday is the uh, the sauce was fine uh, there was I still think it could use a little bit more but you know it, it's fine uh, it was still really good but when it melts down it melts down to like milk I mean when it when that uh, when that frosty ice cream melts it's like milk in the bottom so you just got to be careful that it's gonna get very very uh, runny not like thick ice cream runny but like milk runny so just be aware of that so I'm still gonna give it a five it was still really good excuse me um, the other thing about the sandwich the chicken sandwich I think I give it a four and a half I think I'm actually gonna end up giving it like a four because the flavors were good I mean it was a good chicken sandwich but the flavors of the chicken it had a good sandwich I mean the chicken had a good seasoning to it but it really wasn't um, like an awesome seasoning it was good it had a good peppery like flour chicken flavor but it wasn't as good as like chick-fil-a or, or some of the other chicken places so it was just it was okay chicken and the um, the sauce sauce it was good but it like I said it, it needed more or they need to bump that flavor up I was I was kind of tempted not to say that during the video can I and you can tell if you watched it you know it, it, I was kind of leaning towards saying it didn't have a lot of flavor it wasn't as strong as I hoped it would have it needed a little bit uh, stronger um, some spice to it because it really if if you don't like hot food there's nothing hot about that sauce at all it's not spicy it's not um, smoky flame bro I mean it's just not I mean it's just nothing spicy about it at all so you would be perfectly fine to try that if, if you like just a smoky sauce um, it wasn't even like a sweet barbecue which is I don't know it's just it was okay it just wasn't awesome it wasn't sauce that's for sure so I'm gonna give it a four but still <coughs> <coughs> sorry it was still a really good chicken sandwich and um, I would I would recommend you get it it was a good sandwich especially if you're at, already at Wendy's and you want something different than a burger then get it 
Uh, if you're gonna, if you're at Wendy's, you're getting a burger. Get the Baconator. I mean, the son of Baconator. There's just not even a question about it. Uh, that's the best burger they have. But uh, but anyway, I want to follow up. I am gonna drop my number on the sandwich just a little bit and give it a four. Uh, but the frosty, I'm gonna leave it a five because it is still really good ice cream. I love that uh, cookie crunchy. Uh, I'm glad they left it in bigger chunks and not made it like a crumb almost on top because it would have gotten soggy and nasty. Um, I'm glad they left it in bigger chunks. So anyway, hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.